hear me? Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I'm probably sweating all the way through this shirt. So like, if I move my arms, don't judge me. <laughs> yeah, I got you. Um, for my, so for my senior speech, I just want to do like five tips that you guys can hopefully like take something and like learn from. Uh, so my first tip is like know who your friends are. Uh, this might seem kind of easy at first, but what I mean by this is like know which friends are which. Um, if I ask you guys who your best friends are, you might be able to like rattle off names easily. Uh, some people might not be able to do that so easily, but <clears throat> whoever you are in that situation, you want to know the importance of having like a diverse group of friends. And like, it sounds kind of judgy, but you want to like categorize your friends. Uh, what I mean by this is no like, these are my friends I can like tell my business to. These are friends or like people I can like hold conversations with, but aren't necessarily like friends. These are my chess friends or like whatever hobby that you do. And not saying that like one of your chess friends can't be like your best friends, but like um, understanding like your different social groups and being able to, being able to retain different things from all those groups, then it's gonna like add up in the long run and being able to like interact in different like different groups as you get older. Um, obviously, like anything else in your life, you want to be able to grow and change. So, like your best friends right now may not be your best friend like best friends two years from now. And, Someone you never met before could be like the most important person in your life. Five years from now, you just gotta like give it time and just grow. Um, my add-on to this step is avoid one-sided relationships at all costs. I don't just mean like relationships like dating or like your best friends, but like in your spiritual beliefs or like your work and like you're doing all this work and it's not paying the way you want it. Like don't be tied up in that relationship or if you're giving all this effort to someone and they don't appreciate it, like don't be tied up because life's very short and you just don't want to waste that time. Uh, second tip is admittedly something I haven't done like a great job with in high school, and that's asking for help. Um, teachers at EA are here to help you, and it's really up to you to like, decide if you're gonna access that help on your own. Uh, they're not gonna chase you down like they did in middle school, like, so you really have to go to them and be like, I need this help, and like honestly, I haven't done like a great job of that. <clears throat> also, with just like, Personal things, you wanna be able to like talk with your friends and like your family and, like with personal stuff that's going on because you don't wanna like bottle that stuff and just hold it up. Uh, third tip is find a hobby. Something to invest yourself in that's not just like work or school, but like to fully like just like invest yourself into it like 100% and just be like, I'm down, like I'm doing this thing. Uh, if you're talented in something and you have a passion for it, invest in yourself. Maybe you just want to get like a budget so your band can like make a music video or um, you're like a fire basketball player and you want to like train kids that are younger than you like for extra cash on the side. Um, just whatever your passion is, just like stick to it and like find it on your own time. Don't let someone else tell you what your passion is. Um, yeah. 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 Uh, my fourth one is uh, probably the most important one here and it's like to dig deeper. Uh, we live in the era of like fast food information, meaning like <clears throat> you can get uh, like one big headline and make an opinion on something like quicker than ever before. And just because you can do that doesn't mean it's necessarily like healthy for you. So I think it's just like really important that you understand <clears throat> because you can get information like this, you don't need to live your life like this and like make opinions like this because I can just it can draw you back because you're not keeping an open mind to like everything that's out there. Um, use your intuition. <clears throat> it's really important to use this in 2019 because there's a lot of like fake news out there because you gotta double, triple, quadruple. I don't know what five is, but you gotta like check all that news <laughs> because like there's a lot of just information that gets spread that you really don't know where it's coming from. And I'm not gonna say I'm perfect at this because I'll be the first one if the president's acting up on Twitter, like I'll post it on Snapchat. I'm not gonna lie about that. But like, because he's on Twitter as much as I am, we really gotta be able to dictate like fake and real news. Um, for my last tip, I'm gonna quote someone I've been listening to since fourth grade, Aubrey Drake Graham. Uh, Drake, uh, keep the family close. Uh, this is very important. Uh, having lived for almost 18 years, I've noticed there's a lot of different family dynamics that uh, just happened just here in the Elgin area. And because of this, I realized not everybody gets blessed with a two-parent household like me, blessed with a stable home environment like me, 
um, supporting and like loving family like me, plus with parents that just like accept you for like who you are, like I do. And for anyone in the crowd who doesn't feel blessed with one of those things, I just want to say like, keep grinding it out, just keep choosing love over uh, just fighting because com like communicating is always going to be the key. You want to understand your parents and help them understand you or just anyone in your life you're not like seeing eye to eye with. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, so just feel blessed that you're just here in 2019, just living life and just make most, like make the most of all your opportunities with the people that are alive with you because like this world is very, very crazy. Um, two shout outs before I finish. One, Mr. Rafferty, he helped me get in three colleges so far. Um, and then two, for my amazing parents and dad. <clears throat> you showed me what it means to be a truly unique individual your hairstyle and fashion sense aren't what show it, but <laughs> I've seen like you've explored different new paths of your life and just like the way you look at the world is just like it's always going to be like eye-opening to me. Um, you know the environment that you came from but you don't let it define who you are and uh, much like the great Kanye West, you don't want to be boxed in. You're quick to recognize when you've been stereotyped, but quicker to forgive and educate rather than to respond with hate. You're truly an intellectual, and your range of knowledge on just like all type of like random stuff always just blows my mind, even if I don't tell you like when it does. Uh, some of my fellow EA students say you're swole, and we probably could have won like three more basketball games if I got in the gym like you. But it is what it is. <coughs> uh, Mom. You're my biggest inspiration. Uh, being the only one in your immediate family to go to college uh, is already a W. But you like, like knowing that you did everything from your financial aid to like your housing, all that was solo, all while living at your grandma's house on the south side of Chicago. Like that just makes you like superwoman to me forever. <clears throat> uh, much like dad, you won't let anyone box you in. You won't be as subtle about it, but. <laughs> You show me what it means to truly care about others and to advocate for yourself. Um, I know a lot has changed in the last four years. Uh, everything not so good, some that's good, but I just want to say thank you. I love you for everything, and I should have go. <laughs> <laughs>